Okay, we want to answer the question, is this a proportion? And I'm referring to this problem here. Okay, we want to give more than a simple yes or no. We'd like to be able to justify our answer with why or why not. Okay, so if this is a proportion, why? And if this isn't a proportion, then why not? Okay, so this is a very typical type of um, problem you'll see if you're studying proportions. Uh, in some sort of math class, you're going to be uh, challenged with a problem just like this. So we're going to go ahead and obviously solve this. But uh, first, I'm going to quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I'd like to believe is one of the best online video-based math help programs there is. So if you need to take a full, complete online math course, I offer many math courses. Or if you need assistance in a course, uh, that you're in right now, you need more instructional uh, help, or you need to see how problems are solved in more detail, then my program can help you out as well. I actually solved thousands of problems, all video-based. It's taken me years to develop. So if you're interested, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. Now, if you are studying math, I must stress the importance of taking math notes. After decades of teaching math, there's one thing that is just apparent to me. Those students that take the best math notes almost always have the best math grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who struggle in math, I often say, hey, let me, let me take a look at your math notes. And be like, well, I don't have math notes or, you know, inconsistent math notes. I can't find my math notes. You get the picture, right? So take a look at your math notes. That's a good indicator of how well you're going to do in mathematics. Okay, so improve if you need to improve. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I actually offer uh, detailed comprehensive math notes. Uh, those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find a link to those in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem and answer, is this a proportion? Well, in order to answer this problem, it would be useful to know, one, what is a proportion, okay, and two, how do we verify if something like this is, in fact, a proportion or not? So let's just do a quick review, and then we'll do the problem. By the way, too, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, I've done quite a bit of uh, videos on proportions. You can find those in my pre-algebra playlist, okay? So a proportion is nothing more than uh, two equal fractions, okay? So let's take a fraction like this, one half, and let's just think of another fraction that's equal to this fraction, all right? There's a ton of them. Maybe you said five, 10, or th maybe three over six, okay? So a proportion, again, nothing more than two or more equal fractions. Now, other fractions that are equal to one half could be like, say, five tenths, etc. But let's just stick to two fractions that are equal by definition. That is a proportion. Now, there's something called the means and the extremes, or the means equal the extremes. But I like to kind of refer to um, the basic property of proportions that I think is most frequently used, and that is the cross product, okay? The cross product, sometimes it's referred to as the means and extremes, but everybody forgets what is the means and what is the extremes. Really what we're saying is, if in fact you have a valid proportion, i.e. two fractions that are indeed equal to one another, the product, remember product means multiply, right? So it's the result of doing multiplication, and crosswise means diagonal, okay? So the cross product means when we multiply across, the products will be equal. So for example, here, 2 times 3, I'll write that right here, will be equal to 1 times 6, all right? Okay, uh, so let's just kind of quickly do this. Let me write that a little bit better. So 2 times 3, that is 6, and 1 times 6 is 6. That is true. Okay, which we would expect to be true because this is a property of proportions. Okay, now if we didn't have two equal fractions, let's say one half, and let's make up another fraction here that's not equal to one half, let's say three fourths. Okay, and now we were going to check the cross product, and then I said, hmm, is this a proportion? You would say, well, if it is a proportion, the cross product will be true. So let's go ahead and check the cross product. So two times three. Okay, is that equal to 1 times 4? All right, so we have to answer that question. So 2 times 3 is 6. Is 6 equal to 4? No, 6 is not equal to 4, so therefore this is not a proportion. Okay, so very typical type of problem when you're studying proportions. Now, 
with this problem, it's going to get to the actual problem now, it's a little bit more, uh, I would say tricky, but it's more interesting, right? Whoops, I had a little fraction bar down here. It's more interesting because we're dealing with what? Fractions. And some of you out there might have fraction phobia, which is a, uh, uh, a diagnosis kind of situation that you are afraid of fractions, okay? So when you have fraction phobias, if you have one and three seventeenths, people have a tendency to do this, okay, or, or scared of fractions, okay? Now, of course, I'm being funny here, a little <laughs> amusing, but here's the thing. Fractions, okay, don't make peace with them, right? They're everywhere in mathematics. Just settle down. If you know the uh, principles of, like, say, the ones with uh, uh, that we just did here, the principle of proportions, cross product with basic numbers, then we just have to do the same thing and... Uh, do our due diligence with fractions. Okay, so let's get to it. So how am I going to verify whether this is a portion or not? Well, I'm going to check the cross product, okay? The means and the extremes. So the first thing we want to do is just set this up. We don't, we don't want to do this in our, our minds. Let's set it up first. So we're going to have 1 half, and we're going to multiply that by 12. And want, we want to see if that's the same thing as 4 thirds. Okay. Uh, times nine halves. All right, so this is the situation. We want to see if this is equal. And in fact, if they are equal, then this is a proportion. And if they are not equal, then this is not a proportion. Okay, that's your justification. Your justification, why or why not, is the work. Okay, so let's go ahead and start on the left-hand side. One half times 12, that's pretty easy. That's six. So now we need to check this uh, side here. Four thirds times nine halves. Now, how do you multiply fractions? I know all of you just love fractions, and remember, four thirds times nine halves. Remember, you multiply the numerators and the denominators, so this is going to be 36 over six, and 36 divided by six is six, okay? So, looks like we got a six on both uh, sides of the equation. That's a true statement. Okay, so this checks out as a proportion. Okay, that would be your justification. So why is this a proportion? Because the cross products um, are true or the means equal the extremes. Okay, and if you're not quite sure about that terminology, I just did a video recently on, uh, I think the title of it, it's Let's, Let's Master Proportions. So I get into that, um, not only the means and the extremes, but I get into other properties or proportions that you um, want to know about. Okay, so you can find that again in my pre-algebra playlist, and maybe one day I'll actually link it to this video. All right, so proportions, big topic in mathematics, okay? Um, you got to know what things mean, okay? If things have names, like a proportion, okay? It has a specific definition or a rate or a ratio, okay? Which are types of, um, uh, well, these concepts that rates and ratios are taught related to proportions, okay? And again, you can find um, uh, videos on that in my pre-algebra or my Algebra 1 playlist, okay? So if this video, you know, helped you out in some way or you were entertained by it in some way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to me on YouTube for a long time, many years. Love teaching math. I already have hundreds and hundreds of videos organized in various playlists there to help you out. But if you want my best resources on all this stuff, uh, just check out the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.